This is the video tutorial of the installation tool Leptix 2 from the Lepto.org project. When you have your bootable Leptix stick or DVD, then you will see this screen when you boot in legacy mode. Uh, you can make various settings, for instance, to run, uh, to load Leptix completely into memory and remove the USB stick or you can make save video mode for instance when you have a special graphic device failsafe boot is also a helpful feature in case it doesn't uh, boot completely and um, in F8 you have to save it. This is a screen which you will see in UEFI mode uh, the features are the same a little bit different in view, boot options, persistent, failsafe, everything is available. For instance, here you have to go to 2 RAM that way, then you have to return to this level and then you can choose failsafe mode or whatever you want. Again, with F8 later you can save it, <coughs> then you don't have to make this setting each time. Persistence mode is also available if you want to uh, modify uh, major changes and keep it uh, permanent. Back to main menu. Oh yes, here's a save, grab save options, yes, sorry. And then back to the main menu. Then uh, you will see the options to start you have to go to the top entry just press enter and it will boot at the end you will see this desktop with a connection to a server by LAN or Wi-Fi here you will see all data in the right upper corner memory disk drive battery condition if you have to change battery or not and the uh, boot mode UEFI or legacy. You have audacious when you want to check uh, loudspeaker uh, by a, a CD. Clonzilla you only need when you want to prepare an own uh, image. This check is a very helpful tool if you see this disk in a red color then you should change it. Hardware info, for instance a processor, detail. Install Disk Maker is a tool to generate the installation media. There is a tutorial in details. Test speaker again if you want. Stress CPU is a simulating condition in hot countries. For 60 seconds it will uh, put overload to this CPU and soon you will see the temperature, the sensors and now we are close to 60 degrees Celsius and if it passes 80 degrees you should repair the, desktop, uh, the laptop. Here you can light, backlight uh, the laptop. There are also in the left upper corner helpful other tools screen resolution, temperature sensors and CPU power is a separate tool to reduce uh, the speed of the processor to avoid overheating. The next step is to select what you want to install. Here we have a USB drive, the install disk. You can see also uh, network server in the corner of this window. In the archive we have a content list folder. Here we have prepared content list what is going to be installed like Kivix which is an offline wiki tool and we also collected several other legal offline content. Then we have prepared images 
you have to decide which one you use depending on the country to deliver. Here we have the English basic. There's installer and legacy installer. Installer is the standard uh, way to install. Legacy only if you have hardware not able to uh, handle UEFI. Select the disk drive, how many shreds you want to run. If you already know the let do ID in our database, put, you can put it here. Select the content list, depending where you going to deliver or use the laptop. If you put none, then no content will be installed here. We have 250 gigabytes, so we choose English 250. And if you want to power off after installation to save energy, put a hook here. OK, then it's going to start. Uh, don't worry, we, we are not going to wait for three times shred the disk, which takes many, many hours, just to show you how it works. Um, so it puts random numbers to the disk several times. This will remove for sure each data. Now I'm going to jump to a later step in the process. After shredding the disk, now it's going to install the images. The partitions are installed. This takes about five to 10 minutes for a basic um, image. And after this step, you can already use the system, um, either install additional content now or later uh, after you rebooted the system, both is possible. So as you can see here, five minutes roughly. Again, we will jump a few minutes to a later step in the installation process. Otherwise it would be very boring. And uh, to m give a, to or to compare the content, it's about one to two overseas containers of content which we are going to load on each laptop. So a huge library for the pupils, the teachers, and other person using the device. So now the installation process is coming to an end. Uh, finally, there will be some additional settings for user rights, etc. And then it is going to install the content if you selected any package. It is also possible to define your own content package. Uh, please refer to the wiki on our homepage for further details. Checking the file system, everything is fine. Resizing the partitions and now starting to install the content, which is looking like this for depending on, on the content amount, 10 minutes to half an hour and an hour. So I hope I could give you a short introduction into Leptix, very easy to use. Thank you for your attention.